My name is Brian Marquis, and the issue I picked uh, off the wall was uh, the 1995 White Zombie issue. Uh, White Zombie is one of my favorite bands, still is, and uh, one of the, the first shows I went to uh, as a young adult was uh, Deftones, White Zombie, and Pantera, and uh, it was amazing, and we thought we had pit tickets, because we were in the 13th row, and we knew that they were going to take out the first 20 rows. We get there, and they took out the first 10 rows. So we were three rows behind the wall, just standing there, getting trampled by uh, adult men and bikers. So my friend and I, there's three of us, my friend and I were like looking at each other, we're like, we gotta get in there, we gotta get in there. So at this break in the song, we all, we all kind of told each other, like, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna go in there. So then we, we just literally saw the security guards go in separate ways, there was a break. We ran, jumped over the seats, jumped on some people, literally put our foot right on the barrier, which was like an inch thick, and barely made it over, jumped off. All these lights come you know, flashing at us. We take our shirts off, go right into the pit, try and get lost. And then we realize, we're like, we did it. My buddy and I are high-fiving, and we're like, where's, where's Aaron, where's Aaron? And we look back, and we totally forgot that Aaron weighed like 300 pounds, and there was no way he was gonna float across people and jump on the barrier and jump in with us. And he was just sitting there by himself, getting moshed left and right by biker dudes and we were in the pit and uh, we got him a guitar pick to, to make up for it but he was pretty pissed. <laughs> but that show was amazing. <laughs> well I'm not going to tell a story now. After oh that. okay. Because that was, I was like, what happened next? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, hi my name is Jeff Rickley and I picked uh, issue number one, nine and 69 it says right here. Um, and uh, why? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, but that's the number. Look, see, it says that literally. Wine, dine, and six months, right? <laughs> but um, but it must I, be a '90s thing. It was, it was uh, the first issue I had ever read of AP, um, and I only bought it because I was borderline obsessed with Nine Inch Nails. Um, uh, Downward Spiral came out on my fifteenth birthday. I'd, I had already been into them for a while, but that was like. To me, it was like a sign that it was like the reason that, that I should be into music was for Nine Inch Nails, and I bought my first fake ID uh, to go see their record release show at Webster Hall, where Trent spit out uh, some of his extra gum. That's how big of a fan I knew what kind of gum he chewed. It was blue extra. He would tell, tell people. I, he might even say it in this in, in this interview, but he spit it out, and all these girls tried to rip it out of my hair, so I had all these patches of hair missing where they had ripped out the gum from my hair. So it's the only time I've ever had a shaved head was from a Nine Inch Nails show. I realized how funny I looked with the shaved head. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. but then I saw them, I don't know, 30 something times on the Downward Spiral Tour. And uh, I actually had the chance to interview Trent for, um, for Alternative Press many years later. And uh, I think he was creeped out by the fact that I had seen them so many times. But yeah, that's a... Uh, Still kind of a hero of mine, and the reason why I know Alternative Press in the first place, uh, when Jason Pettigrew came to see us in Cleveland uh, the first time, I knew of him from his article in this, and we talked about our love of wax tracks and goth industrial music. That's my story. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a lot of great articles on the wall, you know. Um, I picked this. Who are you, by the way? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Mark Angler, I play in a band called The Lost Fords. And um, I picked actually the most recent issue of AP with Pear Savale on it. Um, it's a cool thing, and it has a great uh, spread of somebody I know, the most handsome man in pop punk, which is. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like you. Yeah. Is that you? I definitely know yeah. him. Is that Photoshop? The most, uh, the and most handsome It's the, true. The, the most, most handsome, 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 handsome man. man. Um, so I'm planning on carrying one of these around with me, you know, fairly often. So anytime I'm talking to a girl, just to remind them, <laughs> this is how, this is how what a hey, handsome man looks like, right? You're taller. So, you're taller in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's sitting down in the picture. <laughs> oh shit. No, that's, yeah, I, I look. I still look pretty tall. So I'm you, pretty. You I'm, look great. I'm looking pretty dapper. They got so. some good photo editors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they do. Hey man, the camera adds you know ten pounds or something to them. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like, you know, that's true. But uh, yeah, muscle, right? Ten pounds of muscle. Ten, ten pounds of ten pounds of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> ten to, ten pounds of just good looking. That's all it is. That's, that's man. So yeah, that that's uh that's it. <laughs> Do we have extra copies of that? Um, 
You know, I have just a whole put bunch it in my put it in my pack. Yeah. If you want my night pack. Yeah. <laughs> Not his day pack. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you read it while I spoon you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's pretty close. <laughs> Even the hair is falling in the same way. It's pretty spot on. It's Damon Alburn. That is actually oh, that's weird. Right? Yeah, someone, someone can hear it.